Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the tech shoulder cannon in Arc Genesis. <laughs> The Tech Shoulder Cannon is a new weapon that is available in Arc Genesis. It mounts, not surprisingly, on your shoulder, and what it does is it targets the creatures or basically anything around you and shoots energy blasts at them until they die. Which, I mean, I think we can all agree is pretty awesome. In order to unlock the tech gram for the tech shoulder cannon, you're going to need to go to HLNA and do the activation protocol for the final test at beta difficulty. But spoilers ahead, if you are not interested in seeing what the boss looks like prior to actually engaging it, just skip ahead to 1 minute 2 seconds in this video. When you do defeat the boss at beta difficulty, you will unlock not only the tech shoulder cannon, but also the tech gram for the Astrocetus tech saddle and the tech gram for the tech leggings. To craft the tech shoulder cannon, you of course are going to need to use the tech replicator. In the tech replicator, you will find it in the weapons folder and then tech folder. To manufacture it, you will need to have black pearls, crystal, element, metal ingots, and polymer. In order to equip the tech shoulder cannon, it goes into your offhand slot, so we'll just drag it right in there. That does of course mean that you aren't going to be able to use shields or other offhand items if you choose to use the tech shoulder cannon instead. In order to activate the tech shoulder cannon on PC, you just hold E and it'll bring up a context wheel for it. But you'll notice at the moment that activate is readed out, and that's because I don't have any element in my inventory. Once I do have element in my inventory, you can see I can now activate the tech shoulder cannon. With it activated, it will target enemies around me, and uh, if I attack using anything like even a melee attack, it will start firing at the things that it targets. Now, it sort of targets based on proximity and sort of based on what you're looking at. So if you actually want to have it lock onto a target, when it's targeting something that you want to attack, like say for example this Megalodon, I can go into the context menu and click on lock on. Now the target will not shift from the Megalodon until the Megalodon is dead. Now, right now I have it in rapid fire mode. As you can see it's shooting very often, but not for very much damage. I can choose standard fire mode. It shoots less often, but for more damage. Both of these don't use a lot of element to use, but the third fire mode, which is called overcharge, does a whole lot more damage, but it comes at the cost of using far more element. You can see the element usage in the bottom right of the screen. There's a little icon there, and you can see it's just depleting the element very, very rapidly. You have even more control of what it will target. If you go to the lower right in the context wheel, you will see that you have the choice of all targets or survivors and mounted creatures, survivors and tamed creatures, only tamed creatures, only wild creatures, or only survivors. So you can see, you can really fine tune what you want the shoulder cannon to shoot at. Now, another nice feature of the shoulder cannon is even if you are stunned, it will continue to shoot at targets. So this is a really, really nice way of getting away from, uh, you know, the electric eels or jellyfish or anything like that. You can also adjust the range on the shoulder cannon. If you click on the lower left icon in the context wheel, you can set it to either short range or medium range or long range. And I'll be real though, long range really isn't that long. You can also use the shoulder cannon while mounted, but before you do mount your creature, make sure that you've got any of your settings sorted out before you mount it because the context wheel cannot be accessed while you are mounted. In order to attack while mounted, just as before, you would attack with the creature and it will start shooting at whatever target it is currently targeted. What the shoulder cannon lacks in damage, it more than makes up for in accuracy. This thing very, very rarely misses, and that could become very, very handy if you're dealing with nuisance creatures. So if you have, I don't know, creatures that steal stuff from your inventory or creatures that will knock you off of your mount, uh, the shoulder cannon is a great way of dealing with those pests. And that's not even getting into all of the mayhem you could get up to in PvP. Do you know any other tips about the tech shoulder cannon? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like and a comment. And also subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there.